Hi everybody, welcome back to my, oh my god, a bunch of snow just fell, <laughs> that scared me. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, my name is Hannah, Whew, that was hard to get out, Um, but anyway, I am just doing a little get ready with me chit chat, kind of life update, probably maybe do an outfit at the end or something, or I don't know, I'm just in the mood to film right now, I wasn't this morning and now I'm just like film I want to film but anyway <laughs> I got some new products that I'm gonna show you guys just right now um, I got the NARS radiant don't know what this is okay natural radiant longwear foundation always wanted to try it and I'm such a cheap ass that I never buy new makeup but in reality I probably should because whatever I show you guys on here is like a tax write-off so anyway then I bought the Fenty Beauty foundation I've never tried that I'm a drugstore girl again hate spending money but anyway I got also the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. I've heard I Love Seta E talk about this all the time and she has flawless and amazing skin so I was like, I want flawless and amazing skin so I'm gonna try it. And then I also got just these two kind of like little testers. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream and then the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna try some of that stuff out today, see how it looks and stuff like that. So, and I'm just gonna be chit chatty. Let's just get right into it. So to prime my face, I'm gonna be taking the Banana Bright Primer, obviously, and then I'm also gonna be taking the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I think I'm gonna put the eye cream first, perhaps? That's what it looks like. I haven't touched it or anything. I'm just gonna take, oh shit, what was that? Oh, nice, okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I honestly don't know how much you're supposed to take with any of this. I like to think that I'm good at makeup, but bitch, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Probably supposed to tap it in, I'd assume, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna rub it around my eyes. <laughs> I read the directions, like it just says, rub it around your eyes. I have really dry under eyes, so hopefully this is gonna help. Um, it smells like, not, it doesn't smell like a banana, but it smells like some citrus stuff going on. Oh, my eye looks red now. <laughs> anyway, now I'm just gonna go in with that primer. I actually used the primer last night because I was just like, I need to know my voice cracked <laughs> but i didn't even wear makeup um i just kind of put it on myself i'm gonna take like this much rub it in i'm gonna go right here forehead chin it is my time of the month so i'm like breaking out right now honestly i'm not breaking out but when it's my time of the month i get one or two like bigger zits like especially on my chin but yeah okay so that like primer is supposed to brighten your face i feel like it might have maybe it's just like the placebo effect where i just put it on and i'm like oh my god it worked but it didn't do anything um but anyway maybe it's the lighting i don't know for foundation like i said i got these two but i really want to try this one like i cannot wait any longer so i'm gonna try it um my shade is fiji l5 so i got this to go along for like my summer color um, my summer color is more like my tan color. Actually, this is really crusty right now because I just put on this morning. But when I wash it off, it's going to be like a lot like lighter and not in your face. But anyway, I didn't want to purchase a really expensive foundation and only be able to wear it like for one more month here because it would only match that skin. I'm like, nah. Nah. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully, it works. I'm scared. But I've heard a lot of good things about this. Like, so many people rave about it. But I was like, you know what? I need to hop on the bandwagon because I just need to apparently. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking a Real Techniques sponge. We're just gonna blend this out. And maybe I could use more, I don't know. Okay, it's a little orange. <laughs> I really probably should've just went in, got it matched, but that's a lazy Hannah thing. Like I live about 20 minutes away from a Sephora, which is at the Mall of America, and I decide to order it online instead and wait five days. I also hate myself, yes, but anyway. <laughs> I hate myself just as much as you hate me for that, but and I had a free day. I don't, that just pissed me off. Sephora actually scares me though. That's honestly why, because the girls in there are intimidating. Not gonna lie. I feel like the first time I went in there was literally uh, maybe two months ago. And I feel like I was just getting looked up and down, like evaluated, like I had trashy makeup and I went in, like I wasn't planning to go in, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna face my fears <laughs> and go in. And I had like my casual makeup on, which is just like some concealer and moisturizer and stuff like that. And I swear to God, they did not take me seriously. And I was just like, okay, this is it. We're done here. Um, anyway, so first impressions right away. I really like the color 
actually um, feel really stupid for saying, oh, I like the color because this is like not my natural color right now. Honestly, obviously, you guys probably know. It's a little bit in between because this is lighter than my neck, but I don't really mind it. <laughs> um, I always get worried. Obviously, it's easy for me to match my own color because I am so white and like, you know, brands have a lot more white shades than dark shades. Recently, they've upped their game, but all I'm saying is that with my tan, it's a little hard to match it, but moving on to concealer, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and yeah. Um, I was thinking about doing a vlog today because, I don't know, I kind of wanted to like update you guys on my whole like everything that I've bought for my apartment. I don't know, like is that something people would like to see because that's something I would like to see. I love watching those videos, especially like move-in vlogs and stuff like that, which I will definitely be doing. So I'm just uber excited right now, like I cannot even explain it. Finally having my own place at 19, ugh. Like I moved out for literally three months when I went to, or four months when I went to my first semester of college. And that's probably the only time, yeah, that is the only time I had to myself, but I'm really excited. Brian and I are like, we're pretty much done. Not really, I can't say done. Like we're probably always gonna have to buy like for a while, like little furniture pieces. But for the most part, we have our big furniture item. So we have a couch, we have um, a bed, we have our bean bag. He was so, he needed a bean bag and he bought one. So anyway, we got that. We have the bed frame, like I said, um, so many little things, like just so many little things. I can't even name them, but I'm way too excited. We move in May 1st. So expect a whole lot more like vlogs and just, I mean, obviously I'm going to continue to do my normal stuff, but I'm also going to be putting out a lot more like different content. I feel like my content is just getting so dry and bland. It's literally the same stuff all the time. And I hate that my excuse is like, oh, like I'm moving soon. Then I'll be doing a bunch of stuff then, but that's my excuse. So, <laughs> so I want something that's still pretty dewy. So I'm not going to like bake everywhere on my face, but I'm going to be baking just underneath my eyes and my chin and my nose right here. Cause that's like the oiliest for me. And then the rest, I'm pretty much just going to be like dusting powder over. So I am just taking some Airspun Loose Finishing Powder and this zit is like coming through, but honestly, like I don't care. <laughs> I don't get zits enough to go out of my like way in my routine and like purposely cover them up with more than just foundation. So if it's peeking through, I really don't mind, but <laughs> um, I'm gonna go a little like excessive with the baking on the side of the nose especially because that is like my worst area right now and then like i said i'm just pretty much going to dust powder over my face um this brush is a rnl moda brush got it in my boxy charm but this is what i'm gonna be doing <laughs> So to kind of continue with like my little glowy thing going on here, I didn't ever say it, but I'm feeling it right now. Um, I'm gonna be taking this Cover FX palette, the Perfector Face Palette. I'm gonna be mixing this contour shade with this highlighter shade. I think, I don't know, it's really cute. That's why I'm doing it. And I'm just taking like an angled brush. This is like really pigmented, so be careful because about every time I mess up <laughs> and I'm not careful, so learn from my mistakes. Anyway, I'm just putting this on my cheeks, uh, my forehead, my nose, stuff like that, that you just wanna make look smaller, I guess, or more defined, which doesn't really make sense. Like if you have a shadow on your forehead, it'll just look smaller, but then if like you're kind of defining your cheek here, it looks more, you know, cutthroat, bitch. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna film that vlog just for fun. Cause like, I don't care if nobody watches it. It's just like, I want to do it. So I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I have so many like videos. I always think I don't have videos to film like stuff for a video, but I do. So this is what my face is looking like. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Like how flawless do I fucking look? <laughs> That's so narcissistic but it's oh my god nars narcissist i think is like nars nars's long name oh, i just need to stop talking anyway <laughs> um so here i am i'm actually gonna be doing my brows i 
recently lost my brow gel so my whole routine has just changed honestly because again i'm just too cheap to go out and buy products when i need to like it's not even that big of a deal like i spend my money on food instead which you know you need food to survive but like <laughs> i could always lose a few anyway i am just taking this elf eyebrow kit this is one of the first products that i ever used the elf eyebrow kit and i went back to it i actually recently bought it again still bomb as heck for only like three dollars so so the brows are on i'm sorry if the lighting changes it's snowing outside right now and actually it got really cloudy so ew that's cold okay anyway so i'm actually going to be going in with the same contour palette and contour palette and pretty much doing the same thing that i did for contouring this and this color are going on my crease i want something that's not so muted and matte and then i'm going to be doing a like smoked out winged liner pretty simple honestly nothing too insane you can honestly just leave it at the contour color in your crease you don't even have to do the sparkly highlighting color but here we are just pretty like messily doing that now taking a really flat brush like this going in with the only black shade in the james charles palette whoops um and pretty much i'm going to be like stamping this out yep just like that something pretty much kind of like that and then we're just going to lightly fill her in so kind of like that and then I'm just really with a super tiny brush honestly i don't know what brush <laughs> i'm gonna be taking maybe this one just really lightly buffing it out Kind of like that, not really. That's not what I had in mind, but whatever, <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. So here's what my eyes look like right now. I put a little bit of mascara on, finished off the wing. I just added, I buffed it out and then kind of defined the wing like line at the bottom, just so it didn't look like a disgusting mess. But now we're just gonna add some quick little lashes. These are from AliExpress, if you guys know me. I've been wearing these for a while now. They're literally $2, so go get yourself some. <laughs> um, AliExpress is like, a Chinese marketplace, I think, where you can get like super cheap. Is this the right one? Why does it look like this one? Anyway, you can get super cheap, like pretty good items. So this is without, this is with. I love the with. Anyway, <laughs> while I just let my lashes dry, I'm gonna be going on to my lips. And right now I'm just gonna be taking this Bodyography Heather Berry Lip Pencil. And then just going over that with some NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. Um, I haven't used this one yet. This liner, probably gonna be way too dark for me, but at this point, like, who cares? Ew, it's like purple. Dang it, I'm not doing this, Never mind. I am not doing this. <laughs> this is a NYX lip liner in Sandstorm. It's just more warm. That's way too overlined, but you know, who cares? <laughs> we are done, you guys. I actually really like this. Pretty simple, you know, it is pretty casual. You can obviously take like the liner off. You don't need to do the liner. You don't even need to do the blah, 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 blah. you don't even need to do the false lashes. So if that's not something you're a fan of. I wasn't a fan of false lashes until I kind of got the hang of it and it didn't take me so long to apply. I find just a tip, I find that the thick oh my god, the thick band actually really helps. Cause I always used to do like the Ardell Wispies and that really thin band just made it 10% harder. 10%, you know, and just pulled that out of my brain. Um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, which I really hope you did, I mean, I had fun just kind of chit chatting and trying out some new makeup. But anyway, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And yeah, follow me on my Instagram. You might as well see a pic of me on there, probably, hopefully. Yeah. Before I go, I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing today. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm wearing this to take pictures and stuff. So anyway, this is from Lepsona, I think, and my jeans are from a place called Long Tall Sally. They are for tall women like me. I'm 5'11". But anyway. Gives me like early 2000 vibes because I'm showing off so much torso. But I kind of like it. I don't have like the flattest stomach ever, but whatever. But again, here it is. And these are pretty loose on the waist. So I do kind of have to like hike them up a little bit for them to stay. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video.